is your first alert five weather with Mike Daniels. Always nice to have you with us here on News 5 at 6. A live look in Colorado Springs. We've got cloudy skies, but it's still very mild out there. Live from downtown Pueblo, clouds but dry across the Steel City. In Trinidad, a little bit of Virga out over Fisher's Peak this afternoon. And from Woodland Park, beautiful shot of the north face of America's mountain off in the distance. All right, here is your big weather story. Here's your next weather maker. Going to have a southwest flow of air coming off the mountains tomorrow. That's conducive to a downslope flow around here. We'll have some wind during the afternoon, 15 to maybe 25 miles per hour. Certainly going to be a hot day, the hottest day we've had so far this year, and it's also going to be dry. That means high fire danger all across the News 5 viewing area. A red flag warning active from 11 o'clock tomorrow morning through 9 p.m. for all the counties we've shaded in red. That encompasses all of the News 5 viewing area. So under red flag conditions, these are the rules. You just want to stay away from anything that could possibly spark a fire when fires start on days like this. They burn out of control quickly. Never want to toss a cigarette butt out the window. If you do happen to see smoke, please call 911 as quick as you possibly can. That'll allow firefighters to jump on that fire as quick as they possibly can. Right now we're quiet across the springs in Pueblo, actually tracking a couple of thunderstorms out near the Kansas border, northeastern Cheyenne County, getting some thunderstorm activity complete with dangerous cloud to ground lightning. Those thunderstorms are moving off quickly into Kansas right now. Again, dry over all of El Paso County, maybe a couple of sprinkles eastern Pueblo County, more than likely just Virga, though. Here's your hour by hour forecast. This model still wants to pop a few thunderstorms late tonight out across far southeastern Colorado, Baca County into Prowers County. Those storms could produce some pretty serious wind as they develop and uh, create some wind and maybe a few light rain showers across the area. We're going to start with nothing but sunshine around here tomorrow. Look at this by 8 a.m. already at 63 degrees during the afternoon. Just plain old hot and sunny around here. The breezes do kick in during the afternoon again out of the southwest from 15 to 25 miles per hour. Real hot drive tomorrow. 90s all along the Arkansas River. Mid 80s in Colorado Springs. Today, Pueblo, you finally hit the 90s. 91 today. That's 16 degrees warmer than what you should have this time of the year. In the springs, we were 81. That's 14 degrees hotter than where we should be this time of the year. Outside right now, 60s, 70s, and 80s across the News 5 viewing area. Our low temperatures tonight due to the clouds and the downslope flow staying real warm, dropping down to 50 and 51 degrees. Afternoon highs tomorrow. Look out, hot stuff coming through. 87 in the springs. That'll be warm enough for a brand new all-time record high for the date. And in Pueblo tomorrow, 94 degrees. That'll crush the record for tomorrow, which is 92 degrees. In Colorado Springs, another hot, dry, windy day on Friday with elevated fire danger. Then we're tracking a cold front that comes in over the weekend, a chance of seeing a passing PM thunderstorm both Saturday into Sunday. It's going to cool nicely, refreshing again by Sunday with that high of 70 degrees. Then we're back into the mid 70s Monday through Wednesday. No great chances of rain, but I'll keep at least a 10% opportunity of a PM thunderstorm Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday. And for Pueblo, hot stuff for the next couple of days. You'll need those swamp coolers already. Chance of uh, seeing a passing PM thunderstorm over the weekend is not a great chance, but by Sunday, Mother's Day cooling down to 77 degrees. That'll be the coolest day of the next seven. Temperatures warm up Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday and for Canyon City. Cooling trend from Friday into the weekend on Sunday. Still a mild mom's day. An afternoon high temperature of 75 degrees. Don't let those thunderstorm icons uh, mess you up. That's only going to create a passing PM thunderstorm. No washouts over the weekend. And for Woodland Park, hot and dry. The main message the next couple of days, but a daily chance of seeing a PM thunderstorm Saturday, Sunday, all the way into the middle part of next week. It is time for traffic here on News 5. There's a crash in the Springs. The right lane is blocked. That's on Austin Bluffs Parkway at Bridal Pass Drive. Moving a little further south in the city, there's a crash. Circle Drive north of Pikes Peak Avenue. You want to avoid that area. Let's cruise into the downtown area right now. Calm and quiet from Nevada and Tejon all the way over to Colorado Avenue. Let's hope it stays that way, guys.